The question is, who is Brackel? The full name of this eminent minister of the gospel is Wilhelmus Abrakel. He was the only son of Theodore Abrakel, who was also a renowned minister of the gospel during uh, the period known in church history as the Dutch Second Reformation. The Dutch Second Reformation uh, began with the ministry of William Taylink during the early part of the 17th century and ended with the ministry of Theodore van de Groe at the end of the 18th century. Wilhelmus of Brakel was born in 1635 and died in 1711. Thus his life in ministry was at the very center of this movement, but remarkably his ministry and especially his magnum opus, The Christian's Reasonable Service, truly represents a remarkable balance of all that this period in church history has to offer. It has been, I think, correctly said that his work is a synthesis of the very best of Puritan literature to be found on either side of the North Sea, and thus in England and the Netherlands. Wilhelmus of Brakel um, was a man who served the Lord from his youth. He actually states that he cannot remember a time in his life that he did not love the Lord Jesus Christ. Being the only son and the brother of several sisters, his parents had high hopes that the Lord would use their son in his service. And his parents prayed fervently for him and provided him with a very godly education. Bahamas well, Abrako, um, as a young man, studied under the well-known uh, theologian of the Dutch Se of Second Reformation, uh, Gijs Bertus Fuzius, in the city of Utrecht. He initially became a pastor in his native province of Friesland, the Netherlands. He served four pastorates there, and then in 17 or 1683, rather, he accepted the call of the congregation in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. And there he served the Church of God for 28 years until the year of his death in 1711. It was during that pastorate that Wilhelmus of Brakel wrote his work that has made him famous, namely the Christian's Reasonable Service, which was published for the first time in the year 1700. It's remarkable that when Brockwell began his ministry that he stated that he had no desire ever to write a book or to publish anything. But as a result of uh, a number of controversies, uh, he felt compelled uh, to begin to defend the truths of Scripture. And gradually over a period of time, uh, this work, this remarkable work, emerged and was published. It was quickly recognized as a most valuable contribution to Dutch Second Reformation literature. And quickly, uh, Brocco endeared himself to those in the Netherlands who loved Reformation truth, and they fondly referred to him as Father Brocco. Since that initial publication in the year 1700, uh, this work has been published at least 26 times in the Netherlands. It has been translated into German, and finally, it has been translated into English as well. And uh, this translation now forms a wonderful bridge between English Puritanism and the Dutch Second Reformation, two movements uh, that are so very much akin to each other. Uh, movements that mutually influenced each other, and anyone who reads the Christian's Reasonable Service will quickly recognize the remarkable kinship between these two movements.